walls of ice and snow lie at the sides of many roads. A clear indication of just how much has had to be cleared away. See how your, your ground is getting on this morning. On this farm, they were cut off without electricity for three days. Oh, well, we're blocked in altogether. But uh, we're not so far as the main road, so we're lucky. There's worse farmers on up the hill. There's far worse. Today, power is being restored to the last of the 140,000 properties in Northern Ireland which lost electricity in the storms. It was only from the air that repair teams could find some of the places where the electricity network had been damaged. Today, Northern Ireland Electricity has brought in a second helicopter to drop engineers into the areas they simply can't reach on the ground. The work to clear roads goes on. There are still some people cut off, with drifts many feet deep on higher ground. Over the weekend, some did find themselves with no choice but to brave the weather and head out into the snow. I've had to come out over the snow drifts, some of them 20 feet high, to get insulin for my wife, she's insulin dependent. And some groceries which I have here, uh, I got rescued last night and this is me making my way back this morning again to my family. The snow is causing particular problems for farmers. They fear thousands of their animals have already been killed in the freezing cold. And there are particular worries for lambs in conditions associated with the depths of winter, not the week before Easter. I just don't know. I think the whole seasons are upside down. There must have been 12 inches here. And then it was drifted up, you know, against vehicles. Even families used to getting excited about seeing the snow have had just about enough of the weather.